Audrey Hepburn once said, to plant a garden is to believe in tomorrow, and believing in the future is what Liz Fiddler needed to do two years ago. You see, her husband died suddenly, left her with a three-year-old and another baby on the way. So she made a promise to keep running his fifth-generation farm for their kids and planted that garden. Local reporting now from our affiliate CARE 11 and their reporter, Boyd Hoopert. When life lies heavy upon one's shoulders, there's something about the morning. Things that you worry about all day the day before or something just... In the morning, they seem a lot smaller. Liz Fiddler has experienced both the weight of loss and the light that makes it bearable. A gardener. These are called forget-me-nots. Forgetting not the man who brought her to this Stearns County farm. Josh was, I always say he was the how to my wow. Liz's husband, Josh, welcomed her to the farm on which he grew up milking cows. The fifth generation. The summer that he turned 36, we bought it and moved out here. As Josh grew his career in ag lending, Liz earned her doctorate as a nurse practitioner. Joined by their new daughter, Fidelia, the couple envisioned a hobby farm selling flowers and canned goods, a place of their own. They named Sunny Mary Meadow after Josh's late mother. Then, two years ago, Liz had finished her first season in their first flower garden when their well-laid plants were uprooted. How old was he? 39. Liz was at work, her husband home alone. 39. Yep. Josh collapsed while running on a treadmill. Sudden cardiac arrest. Yep. Fit and in seemingly perfect health, Josh had breezed through a physical yep. one day before. Yep. One day after Josh's funeral, Liz learned she was pregnant with their second child. Her mother suggested continuing the flower business might be too much. And I just remember looking at her and I was like, don't take away one, one of the things that still makes me happy. Snapdragons. Let's just say Zinnia. two summers later, good things are growing. So this is Davy. Can you say hello? Yeah. And this is Vidalia. Count Vidalia and Davy among the reminders of Josh sprinkled round the farm. Got some wind chimes. His last canned vegetables. This is like his corn relish. And his college flag. He loves St. John's University. But approaching two years since Josh's death. I like it. Also signs that Liz is making the old dairy farm her own. These murals reflect her personality very well. She's colorful and vibrant. The new farmhouse Liz and Josh had started planning together is now under construction. One cut flower garden has grown to three. Picking up my flowers, my weekly subscription. And all summer long, customers arrive to pick up. This is it. The hundreds of bouquets mm -hmm. Liz assembles in the farm's old butcher shop. You have a choice. And move forward is kind of what I've chosen. It's called snow on the mountain. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that silly? This is what he wanted for us. I know it is. These little ones are baby chicks, and these big ones are mama hens. So they're the sixth generation. Wow! Oh. Mm -hmm. The sixth generation on this 134-year-old family farm, where the products are no longer meat and milk. So the sunflowers do need to sit a little bit lower. And the lessons. So then I just cut it off there. Not just about bouquet making. Ready? One, two. Three. But loss and love and life. I'm just the keeper of the flame for now. For the news, I'm Boyd Hooper.